what's up guys i'm someone from phone steen and this here is the asus s510 un and the model number to be specific this is the bq2170 this is an amazing laptop for the price and this has all the latest gen specifications is it worth the 60000 rupees that you're paying for it let's find out this laptop here is really well built yes no doubt about that this laptop is a 15 inch laptop but this is housed inside a 14 inch body now that is because they have reduced the size of the bezels drastically now that gives it a really futuristic or i'll say modern look to it and this laptop is not that heavy this is like approximately only 1.7 kilograms making it really light to use Now as for the build quality this laptop I won't say is the most rigid laptop but I can't say this is really flimsy. Now this is a really good mixture of both. Yes the build is solid like when you hold it together this has a really solid build and there is like really very minimal screen flex to it so it is not too drastic. There is a little bit of flex at certain areas but this is not too noticeable when you are typing something on it or doing some heavy work on this like gaming but one thing to keep in mind is that make sure you don't put any force on the top portion of the laptop because it is kind of flexible so it might damage your display now when you are keeping it inside your backpack make sure the screen is facing to the inner side of your bag now as for the build i can give this laptop say a 7.5 or 8 and that is pretty good for what you're paying for this laptop now this is not all metal again as i told this is a plastic build which is made to look like metal and it has few brushed accents giving it a really professional look now even though the laptop body is small asus have not skimped on any of the ports now towards the left hand side you have two usb 2 ports with a full sized sd card reader now that is really cool for professionals and then towards the right you have a single usb 3 port an hdmi port a usb 3 port so this is not thunderbolt so just usb 3 your headphone jack and you have your power in now moving on The keyboard on this laptop is not at all good. So th this is one of the few things that I don't like about this laptop. Yes, you have a keyboard which is well spaced out, but the typing experience is not at all good. The keystrokes are mushy. Yes, you have good uh, travel between the keys, but the keystrokes are mushy. Though the typing experience on this keyboard has not been good for me, I am at least glad that Asus have included a uh, LED backlight. for the keyboard there's no fancy rgb or any color profiles that you can adjust with this but this actually gets the job done of helping the user see the keys during dark now the trackpad on this laptop is one of the better parts of this laptop because it has a really good surface where tracking is done well it has windows precision drivers so your gestures and the tracking is like really good but make sure your palms are not sweaty or as say your fingers are not sweaty then this boy is kind of going to be a trouble then and the trackpad has an inbuilt fingerprint sensor and to my astonishment this fingerprint sensor works really well yes it works with windows hello and the fingerprint sensor is really accurate and quick at reading your fingerprints now after using this i find it really irritating to type my password on on the pc that i use so that's how good this sucker here is Now talking about the display. This laptop has one of the best displays I have ever used on a budget laptop. Yes, this is a 1080p IPS matte display. This is not going to be the most color accurate display on the market, but this surely is color accurate for some basic video editing or photo editing. Now on a budget you can't expect really high uh, quality, but I think Asus has managed to provide some decent quality uh display on the laptop now viewing angles are really good now even from this angle i am able to see what is there on the display without any sort of color shift now that is a huge positive now considering that you are watching a movie together with your friends then this will definitely help you a lot now if you are using this display for gaming this has a 60 hertz display you will be all fine the colors will really pop out now if you are doing 
uh, video editing or photo editing then this will definitely come in handy it is not going to be really color accurate so if you are like a really really pro person on your video or photo editing thing then i think you better skip this but if you are an amateur or someone who's beginning i think this will do the job really well even 4k video on this is absolutely beautiful now the speakers on this laptop is from sonic master and i think they are bad so there are only two things on this laptop which pissed me off the entire time and that one was a keyboard and another one is this speaker so even at the max volume this speaker is like really really low the sound is actually low and that is kind of frustrating considering that they could have packed some more sound into this bad boy here yes this is a small form factor laptop but still i think they could have managed to add a row of speakers on top rather than putting them down and making them sound muffled and really teeny tiny so i hope in the next revision of this laptop they would come up with some other better solution for a speaker now for the moment that you've been waiting for the performance this sucker comes here with an 8th generation intel core i5 processor yes 8th generation that is 4 freaking cores yes the clock speed is not that high it is clocked only at 1.8 gigahertz pace and it can turbo up to 2.8 but when this is at full load you will get your maximum or rather say your expected performance out of this now that coupled with the brand new nvidia mx 150 you are gonna get really amazing performance now as for gaming so let me talk about that first just make sure you are plugged in during your gaming sessions and you can easily get like anywhere around 40 to 50 frames on 1080p medium or low on even the modern AAA title so i've made a dedicated video on this just for gaming so make sure you check that out because i like i would have shown you like how well this laptop can run any game on that so just make sure you check that out links in the description down below now if you're a creative professional like you're a photo or video editor this laptop can definitely do the job really well i've been editing uh, uh brochures posters for my college on this sucker here and this has done the job well even when not plugged in this can handle the intense workload that you throw on it with ease so that is a huge positive so again if you are a youtuber and you want to buy a laptop i think i can wholeheartedly recommend this for video or photo editing but just a tip if you are working on premiere pro make sure you have your playback settings at a one fourth or half so you'll get the best smooth playback on 1080p edits now if you want me to rate the performance of the s510 unbq217 i would give this a perfect 8.5 out of 10 yes now it, it it could have scored even more higher if it had a better clock speed but sadly doesn't have that but again considering the money that you're paying for it this is a really good performer and i actually think the laptop companies are going on the right path giving very good performance for a very low price now that is beneficial for everyone now the webcam on this laptop is just a 480p webcam so i don't suggest you use this for skype calling so this just sucks so don't do that the battery life on this laptop is actually pretty good you would get a solid six to seven hours on regular use like say web browsing or thing and if you're doing heavy gaming like if you're not plugged in and you are doing gaming you would get like around um, two to three hours and that is pretty good considering the size and the amount of heat it dissipates out now talking about heating this laptop doesn't heat that much so that is a huge boon to anyone who use their laptop a lot now you can use this comfortably on your lap but i don't suggest you do that but it won't exceed like 60 70 degrees even on heavy load now that is really good and the thermal solution on this is actually well engineered by the team at aces now huge kudos to them for doing that properly and i think the only area where you might feel a little warmth on extensive use is somewhere towards the right end of the keyboard but usually your hand doesn't rest there that much so uh, you would probably not notice that 
Now, what's my verdict on this bad boy here? So the Asus S510 UNBQ217T is an amazing laptop. It has a really good build quality. It is really portable and really light. It has an amazing performance. It doesn't heat up much and it has a really good battery life. Now these make this a really really worthy choice and I think for those who are about to buy a laptop in 2018 I think this is one of the best choices to go with. Now this again comes with the i7 version so you can go with that it also comes with 16 gigs of ram or if you don't want that you can upgrade this to 16 gigs on your own but anyways the links to this laptop and the other versions of this are in the links down below make sure you check this out anyways thanks for watching and this is suman signing off once again catch you later